Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Monday, May 27th. It's Memorial Day, that's right. Uh, 2013, this is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I'm your Monday Vlogger B. This week's topic is uh, has a lot to do with our inner strength and the positives and the negatives that we encounter throughout our journey and how we recognize um, the good things and not really waste so much on the bad things and in light of all the work that we have to do because you know let's face it it can get grueling especially towards the beginning of your journey when you look at yourself and you go man I'm 300 400 500 pounds I have so much weight to lose I, I can't even walk around the house I'm never going to be able to do this and I think that I was actually reading this question and I was looking at it from the perspective of a post-op patient, you know, my personal life, and where am I in my journey, and then I got to thinking about it, and I'm like, you know, this this really pertains to all of us, it doesn't matter if we're one week out, or, you know, 136 weeks out, or 500 weeks out, you know, it can be very overwhelming, and it's very important that we stay focused on the positive, and we, we stay motivated knowing what's ahead of us, and and not letting the negative get us down. Let me read the question because I'm kind of kind of getting ahead of myself. It says, how do you focus on the positive changes you're making, the progress of your journey, and the work you have ahead of you without letting the negative talk win? And this is, this is one of those things that for me is, is a combination of things, you know. Um, I love to be challenged. If you saw Rosemary's video yesterday, she says her inner strength comes from challenging herself. I love challenges. I love getting up in the morning and getting on my phone and, and talking to my, my support group and my pocket peeps and, and seeing them do their thing because they usually get up a lot earlier than I do. And that motivates me to get up and do what they're doing, you know, or um, it's been a while, but... Uh, <clears throat> you know, I would get get up and 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 I'd look at Wendy and I would look at her. I'd text her and say, "Hey, let's let's do a water challenge today." And so we would do a water challenge and, and we'd go back and forth, back and forth, and and you know, until we we got all of our water in for the day. Or, you know, if if I challenge myself to to even in the short term, if I'm out running and I'm gonna run 30 minutes, and my Nike Plus says, "Okay, you go on three miles," I'm like, "Oh." Well, Maybe I'll run one more, one more, one more mile. So I, you know, I'll run that extra mile. You know, all those little challenges. Those, those are the things in the short term and in the long term that 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 really help me f stay positive, knowing that I've got so much more work ahead of me. You know, I'm not, I'm not in maintenance. Um, and even if I was, you know, there's still challenges ahead of you. That fat monster never, ever, ever, ever quits, and it's a fight. Rosemary says she didn't like to think of it that way, but it is. It's a fight every single day of our lives from now until the end of time. It's a fight. Failure is not an option for me. If you watch my last video, my personal channel, it, it's not an option for me. And so I have no choice but to get up and fight every day. Um, something else I think is, is extremely important, and this is where I'm going to challenge you guys. You know, I see a lot of people that subscribe to the Proof Weight Loss Surgery channel, to my personal channel, and I love my subscribers. It's awesome. I, I it, it really makes me feel good to, to know that I motivate so many people, or that people just take an interest in my journey. And then I go to their pages and there's nothing there. And you go to their Facebook page and there's nothing there. You go to their Twitter and there's nothing there. And I think about all the wasted opportunity. Because for me personally, I think the number one tool that I use is documenting. Document, 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 document. Having visible, viable, tangible evidence of your journey. Being able to take a photograph and look back and see where you were when you started. 
and where you are now. Let me tell you, one of the one one of the regrets that I have about being a fat guy, being 360 plus pounds, is that I never took pictures. I've got maybe three pictures that of myself that I can look back at and say, wow, that was me. And I hate that. I wish I wish I could turn back the clock so that I could take more pictures of myself back then. And I look at my phone. Well, I'm recording on my phone. Never mind. I look at my phone right now. I've probably got 30 pictures that I took this week of myself. And not that I'm vain. It's just that I do it. And every once in a while, I'll save one to the laptop or put it on Facebook or put it on Instagram or post it up to Twitter. Documenting it. It doesn't matter if it's a video, if it's a photograph, if it's a Facebook post, if it's a tweet, if it's Instagram. Something in my life that I can take a picture of or I can get that pair of pants and put it in a bag with a date on it and stick it in the closet or something tangible in my life that I can look back on and say this was me and not anymore look at me now look at me now but I hope I hope that my point's coming across that documentation for me is key um and I would encourage you this is where the challenge comes in you know <clears throat> sorry I'm gonna try not to get too long but this is where I'm gonna challenge you if you don't make YouTube videos if you don't post on Facebook and you know, I hear it all the time. I heard it at the meet and greet. And I I don't know if I should post. I, I'm really scared of the camera. I don't know what people are going to think. I don't really have anything important to say. Well, okay. That's fine. But make videos anyway. Put it on your Facebook page anyway. Take pictures anyway. You can always hit the little private button. Every social media website on the planet has a little private button, a little check mark, a little me only box where no one but you can see that stuff. But then it's there. And then when the day comes, because the day will come, when you go, man, I wish I had recorded that stuff. I wish I had saved that stuff. I wish I had shared that stuff. You can always go back and share it publicly. But challenge yourself to document. Documentation's huge for me. Huge, huge, huge for me. Uh, progress you during the work you have ahead of you. Um, the positive changes in my life, those, those physical and non-physical, um, the scale and the non-scale, you know, they're wonderful things. It's the, it's the, you know, NSVs, the, the glue that binds everything else together, and, and, you know, putting on a new pair of pants for the first time or jumping on the scale and seeing it went down three pounds this week. All that's important. I think it's also equally as important that we recognize the negative things that happen in our life because they help us appreciate those positive things just a little bit more. And by recognize, I mean, when you step on the scale and you've lost four pounds... And then next week you step on the scale and you gain a pound. Stop and think about it for just a minute. And say, well, let's look back at the week. What happened? What did I do good? What did I do bad? And you'll find something. You'll find a reason why you gained a pound this week. It's not rocket science. And then make changes. So that that doesn't happen again next week. And then the next week when you lose two more pounds, you'll be that much more excited because you recognize that negative and you made some changes in your life and now you have a goal for the following week. And then when you meet that goal, it's, it's that much more exciting. For me. Anyway. So I think that's it. You guys, make sure you thumbs up. Don't thumbs down, subscribe, tell your friends. Come back and see us tomorrow for another Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works video. Come back and see me on Monday for another Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works vlog. Have a wonderful holiday, guys, and take care.